हाई गाइज दिस इज मेघा वर्मा वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो इन टू डेज टूटोरियल वी वी लर्न हाउ टू डिज़ाइन दिस बिजनेस कार्ड इन कॉरेंटो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट सो दिस इज द साइज ऑफ आर बिजनेस कार्ड फर्स्ट वी विल सेलेक्ट द रेक्टेंगल टूल एंड वी विल ड्रॉ आ रेक्टेंगल Now we'll set the size of the rectangle 3.5 by 2. Now we'll select the rectangle and we will set the align. We will select specified point and we'll set the align horizontal and vertical. Now we'll click on option round corner. Now we'll select the shape tool and we will round the corners. Now we will fill the color in the rectangle. Now we will remove the outline. Now we will select the polygon tool and we will set the points 10. We will make 10 points polygon. So we will make this shape with the polygon tool. Now we will give the outline color by right click on the color and now we will set the size of the outline Now we'll fill the color in the shape and we will make a copy by drag and right click I'll go to the effects menu and we will click on the option blur now we'll select the gaussian blur Now we will set the radius. We will set the radius around 13. Now we will fill this color in this polygon. Now we will place like this. Now we will set the size of the outline. Now we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a rectangle. Adjust the size of the rectangle. Now we will fill the color in the rectangle and we will remove the outline by right click. Now we select and we will set the align horizontal and vertical. Again, I am adjusting the size of the rectangle. Now, we'll select the text tool from the toolbar, and we will select the font. You can see the font. Now, we will write the name of your company, or you can place your logo here. Here, I am writing my channel name. Now again we will write the text with the same font. Now we will select the interactive fill tool from the toolbar and we will apply on the text. Now we will create a silver color. So we will choose color according to that. You can see the color codes which I am using to create silver color. Now we will adjust the interactive fill tool. Now we will decrease the size of the text. Now we'll place the text like this. Select both. Now we'll select all. Now we'll set the align of the shape and the text. Now 
will select all and we will set the align horizontal and vertical now we will select the logo and we will right click and click on option group now we will select both and we will set the align so this is the front side of our card now we will make a back side of our card so that we will make a copy of this card by drag and right click now we will add it the this front side to make a back side of the card now we will drag this rectangle and right click to make a copy now we'll fill color in this rectangle now we will right click and click on option convert to curves now we'll select the nodes and we will click on straight line now we'll select this both nodes and we will delete the nodes to make a straight line now we will drag the node now we will increase the size of the shape Again, we will drag and right click to make a copy. Now we fill this color. Now we we'll go to the effects menu and we will click on 3D effects. Now we we'll select the page curl option. Now we will adjust the page curl. so we will write 75 in the width now we we'll select the logo now we we'll select the logo and we will make a copy by drag and right click we will decrease the size of the logo now we'll place the logo like this now we'll select the rectangle tool and we will draw a rectangle now we'll right click and we will click on convert to curve now we'll select the shape tool and we will drag the node like this now we'll give a color to this shape and we will remove the outline now we'll make a copies like this by drag and right click and we will place like this we will make four shapes like this now we'll select all and we will shapes by drag and right click now we'll do control page down to place the shape like this now we'll give now we'll change the color of the shapes and we will place like this and we will drag like this now we will select the text tool from the toolbar and we will write the name of the person for whom we are creating a business card now we'll give a color to the text and we will adjust the size now 
Now we'll select the Bezier tool from the toolbar and we will draw a straight line. Now we will give a color to outline. Now we'll select both and we will set the align. Now again we will select the text tool and we will write the text. Here we will write the designation of the person. Now we'll go to the edit menu and we will click on the option copy properties from. Click on the fill option and we will click on ok. Now we will click on the silver color with the arrow to give a same gradient to this text. Place the designation here. Now we will set the size of the text. Now we'll select all. Now we'll set the align. Now we will place icons. We have these icons. So we will place on the card, first we have a phone icon, now we will again go to the edit menu and we will click on copy properties form, now again we will give a same gradient to this icons, I will set the size. Similarly, one by one, we will give a same color to all the icons. the icons now we will adjust the size and the position of the icons Again we will select the text tool and we will write all the details, contact number, address, email id and website. And similarly we will give a same color to all the text. We will write all the text one by one. And we will give the same color to all the text. We will set the size of the text. This text need more space. So I am adjusting. I will select all this and we will drag. Again we will go to edit menu and we will click on copy properties and we will click on silver color. Now we will write email address. We will give a same size to all the text of the details.
now we will select one by one and we will set the align Now we will place the barcode. Here we will place the barcode. Now we'll select the front side of the card and we will place here. Now we will select the back side of the card and we will right click then click on option group. I have done one mistake while writing the email address so I will correct that So guys our business card design is ready I hope you like the design if you have any question regarding this video you can ask me on the comment box please like share and comments and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos Thanks for watching.